Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie. I share all kinds of home and lifestyle videos here on my channel. And today I'm actually going to be doing a little get to know me tag, get to know me video, um, just a quick little sit down video. I kind of thought lately there's been a lot of new people here, which is so cool and so amazing. And I'm so grateful for y'all and y'all are all so nice, which is great because it's really important to me to build a community where everybody's nice to each other and can just, you know, be a community where we give each other advice and lift each other up and give ideas. And, um, yeah, that's just, that's my heart and that's, what's important to me. But, um, because of that, I thought, well, I haven't really done anything super like personal or anything that would kind of share with y'all who I am or why I am the way that I am. Um, so I'm going to do this quick little video today. And, um, if it's not your thing, just stay tuned. There'll be lots of home content coming, I'm sure. But anyways, let's just get started with the questions. So the first one is where did you grow up? And I grew up actually in a small town outside of Buffalo, New York. The town was called Grand Island. Um, it's a little small island town surrounded by the Niagara River. And I lived there until I was like nine. Um, and then grew up the rest of my time here in the Atlanta suburbs and have been here ever since. Where do you currently live? I currently live in a suburb of Atlanta. So I won't obviously specify where, um, but we live outside of the city about like an hour-ish. How tall are you? So I feel like I should probably also say how old I am because I'm not sure if that's in this list of questions, but I am 25 years old. Um, I am married and no kids yet. We have a dog um, and yeah. So I am also 5'6". I always say I'm 5'6" in the morning because I'm pretty sure I'm kind of like five five and a half um but you know you're taller in the morning so that's a little nerdy anatomical fact for you <laughs> but I always say I'm five six are you in slash have you gone to college yes I um, got my bachelor's from the University of Georgia and then I went on to get my doctor of physical therapy degree at Emory University in Atlanta um, so I did four years of college and three years of grad school what is your favorite drink? Coffee. All the coffee. I love coffee. I will drink coffee before water any day. I know it's bad. So I try to drink my water, but I love coffee. I would drink, um, I literally buy decaf coffee because I want to drink it at night. And I'm pretty sure caffeine doesn't really keep me up anymore, but just in case I will just get decaf just so I can taste it. If I want to have like a hot cup of something at night, I don't want tea. I want coffee. And I usually drink it black or I'll do like a dairy free creamer, um, but I don't add sugar to my coffee and um, I don't add any kind of dairy because I don't really drink milk. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? So I actually really don't wear perfume much because um, of my job, I'm a physical therapist at a hospital. So it's just really not, you're not supposed to wear perfume at the hospital because you can, it can irritate patients if they have any kind of like respiratory or lung issues. So. We just don't even do it and so I don't really buy it. So I've never really had like a signature scent. Although I do like the um, Glossier U scent, I think is what it's called. Um, I had like a sample of that that I wear sometimes, but other than that, I don't really wear it on a daily basis. Tea or coffee? I already answered that one, coffee. What are your life goals? Oh my gosh, that's a big question. Um, I, I don't, I don't really, have not really thought about it. Um, I guess my goal would just be to be comfortable and content in the seasons that I'm in. I'd like to be financially stable. Um, I'd like to have a family eventually someday. And um, yeah, I feel like it's, you know, my goal is to have a job that I love, family that I love, you know, and feel contentment. So that's about it. I mean, I want to travel too. I guess I could include that. But yeah, I don't, uh, I probably should be better about goal setting. But I think sometimes you just kind of have to take it day by day and just hope for the best, especially with the way things are these days. So just taking it one day at a time. What sports do you play or have you played? Um, I, in high school, I played like every sport growing up. Um, I even figure skated. But in high school, I played lacrosse and I cheered. Um, I quit lacrosse like halfway through high school because um, our practices were every day and I was really trying to get into a school for my grades. And I knew I wasn't going to play Division One lacrosse, so especially in the South. Um, so I just quit lacrosse and just cheered for the rest of high school and it was a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't take sports that seriously, I will say, cause I was more concerned with getting good grades. How long was your longest relationship? 
Um, my longest relationship is definitely with my husband. We've been together for five years and married for almost two. And before him, I really didn't date anybody because we started dating in college. And I had like one boyfriend in high school that was not even a year. So I was not a major dater, that's for sure. What is your go-to hairstyle? Um, oh, I would say it kind of depends. So when I go to work, if my hair is natural and I don't want to put heat on it, I will often braid it do like a French braid or a side braid um, or like two French braids just to get it like out of my way. Um, Cause I feel like the messy bun is just, it's really hard to pull off. Like some days it, it goes up perfect and some days it does not. Um, so I would say a braid is usually a good go-to, but on like a day where I'm just, where I'm like trying to dress up and I am gonna put heat on it, I will usually just like today, I just um, blew it dry with the Revlon tool. That's like a brush with a blow dryer in it. And I just kind of brushed it and blew dry it, blew it dry like straight. And then throw on a hat or, or don't, I don't know. I don't do a lot with my hair. That's something I need to kind of dive more into. Um, but yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. I have two siblings that are my half siblings. So they're a lot older than me, which I think people get confused about. So they're, my brother's 14 years older than me. And my sister is, nine years older than me. And then I have another sister who is two years older than me. And we are from the same two parents. So there's four of us total, but a big age gap in between. What is your go-to fast food? Chick-fil-A, a hundred percent. I never grew up eating fast food. My parents are like really healthy people and, and they, we just never ate out um, growing up because it wasn't really, I don't think in the budget. So we just didn't eat out. Um, so once I got into like high school is when I started going to fast food restaurants more, um, like, you know, cause it'd be after, after school, you go with friends or before school, get Chick-fil-A breakfast, whatever. And everybody always got Chick-fil-A. So, um, that's just, and in college, I ate a lot of Chick-fil-A. It's just my favorite. My husband loves Zaxby's. I feel kind of meh about it, but, um, yeah, Chick-fil-A, they got great breakfast. They got great dinner options. I like that you can get grilled chicken. So I usually do like a grilled chicken nuggets with some fries because I'm kind of balancing it out, you know? We like balance. So that would be my favorite fast food. Do you use a Mac or a PC? I use a Mac. Um, I got it in college, I think halfway through. The first couple years of college, I did not have a computer. I was using a tablet and I finally bit the bullet and got a Mac halfway through college because I knew I would need it for three more years for grad school. So it was a pretty good investment. Um, so it lasted me two years of college, three years of grad school, and I'm still using it for my, you know, editing videos and doing all kinds of stuff. So it's been, it's been good. I'm, I'm a fan of the Max. Your most memorable childhood memory. Ooh, I can't even think. I, I had a really great, like when I was really little, our neighbors, we were all kind of the same age and we would just like run around outside from like house to house and go to so-and-so's pool. And then we'd go sleep over at this person's house. So we go have dinner at that person's house. And you know, it was a really great way to grow up because all of our parents were friends and all the kids were friends and it made it kind of easy because you could just get home from school, run you know, across the street and hang out with your friend um, rather than having to like call up and make plans. Plus we lived in a really small, like I said, small, safe town. So we would just be outside running around and our parents would be, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I'm sure they had their eyes on us, but um, yeah, it was just a very, I have very fond memories of growing up that way and um, spending summers, you know, in the pool and um, building forts and um, having sleepovers and watching scary movies, which I hated, but one of my neighbors loved them. She would always make me watch them. So anyways, those were probably some of my favorite childhood memories. What are your morning and evening routines? So my morning routine, actually they're both on this channel cause I've filmed them before, but my morning routine is wake up, make coffee. Um, I like to feed the dog and let him out. I usually sit down and drink my coffee, do my little devotional, watch some YouTube and kind of just get ready for the day. Um, and then I usually eat a little something for breakfast, come upstairs, get dressed and go to work. So I like to be awake for 
like an hour before I go to work just because once I'm there, my brain's gotta be working because I start at work with like chart review. So I'm like looking up patients' charts and it's a lot of medical jargon. You need to be like awake <laughs> to process and really, you know, do the job well. So I like to be awake for a little bit and then my evening routine starts pretty early because I get home and maybe I go to the gym or I eat dinner. Um, and then when I'm kind of winding down, I usually just, you know, take a shower, do my skincare routine, maybe read a little bit, maybe make my lunch for the next day, feed feed the dog and let him out. It kind of depends on if my husband's home. He's some nights he's not home um, early enough, like he gets home later. So yeah, if it's just me, then I take care of the dog stuff and meal prep and that's about it. Do you have any bad habits? Yes, my bad habit is I pick at my nails pick the skin and I bite. It's a terrible habit, which is why I always have them done. So my mom was like, you, you really need to always have your nails done. And I'm like, yes. Cause if I don't, I pick and they bleed and I bite them down to little nubs. So that's my, that's my bad habit. It's, it's terrible. So it's always been there as long as I can remember and I can't seem to shake it. So I just get them done to avoid the biting. But Anyways, you guys, that was all the questions. I hope that you all enjoyed this little get to know me video. If you did, um, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below letting me know um, what was the first video of mine that you saw and what you wanna see in the future. I, I love ideas. I welcome them with open arms and I just wanna create things that y'all are excited to see. And I love having conversations in the comments with you all. And yeah, it's just, it's been really fun over here so far. So anyways, you guys, that is all. I will see y'all in my next video very soon.